if you if you look at the performance um, across FX markets that we had in the last or in the, in the three days uh, post the election on Tuesday, uh, clearly I think the market has has sought to grab some of the underperforming currencies. So things like Brazil, you know, that had a seven percent rally over three days last week, week, which is quite striking. So from a structural perspective, I would say we're still a little bit cautious on some of the emerging markets outside of um, outside of Asia, uh, where we have a much more positive uh, uh, view on the macro uh, outlook. Uh, but clearly, I think when you when you have a market uh, conditions as they are now, where people want to grab uh, dump onto the dollar dollar down trade, uh, it's not unreasonable to expect that some of the higher betas begin to, to begin to outperform. So it's really a question of you know are you in this for a tactical more of a tactical trade or is it more structural? So from a structural perspective, I think we're still we're still positive on Asia, but clearly that has as we've seen this year that tends to be lower beta. So you're not going to get the most okay. juice uh, in a short dollar trade out of Asia, I suspect at least in the short term. Okay, fair enough. And among the majors, I mean, do you have a call on the euro at this stage? Because the coronavirus situation across Europe seems to be rather worrying. I mean, where does this put the single currency in light of everything else that's going on? Um, well, again, a, a very striking turnaround in, in in the euro last week. You know, this time last week we were trading at the you know in the low 116s, and, and we're now pushing towards 119. I think uh, this 120 level or area where we where we uh, um, bounce back off um, earlier in the earlier in, in the last couple of months. I think that's that's key. And I think if we break out through 120, uh, you could expect uh, you know that that move to accelerate. I think you're right that uh, that, in, that the, the COVID overhang is still there. Uh, but frankly, I think every every time we've seen the euro uh, dip and, and investors try to de-risk on those concerns about what's going on in Europe, um, there has been consistent support down there. So um, I think what we what we what what we have to come to terms with is the fact again that I think if we're in a if we're in a dollar bear cycle, uh, you know the euro is likely to continue to grind higher. Again, I don't think it will necessarily be one of the outperformers. Uh, but I do suspect that it would continue to find uh, support, uh, you know, on any dip. So I think, uh, from a forecast perspective, we're looking over the next year, you know, up up towards the mid 120s, and we think that's that continues to be reasonable. Hey Adam, uh, the break of dollar yen at 104 now at 103. I mean, you have a call of dollar yen at 102 now. I mean, what does this say about capital outflows? Um, well, one of the most important drivers here for the yen is this idea that um, Japanese capital outflows are set to decelerate further from here. And, and notably, uh, if you if you look at what's coming out of the GPIF, it appears to be almost at its foreign bond allocation target as of the end of September. So we think this represents the removal of one of the barriers to, to yen appreciation going forward. Um, there was obviously a lot going on across markets last week, but one of the things I think you're right to draw attention to is this breakthrough 104. It's not just the level that has held on numerous occasions over recent months, uh, but if we leave aside um, the March madness of this year, really it's a level that we've struggled to hold below for any significant period of time uh, since 2016. So certainly for our clients, um, we, it's something that we've been highlighting because many private clients across the region um, have tended to use the yen as a funding currency to invest in dollar assets over recent years. And we think we're in a different part of the cycle now for FX markets and clients have to be very, very careful with these kind of strategies going forward.